you looking at? That's a leg. Looks like a bison hook. I mean, age-wise, the hook doesn't, but I don't. We are missing 1508. Still on the hay. You've got lots of green grass over there, and you're over here stealing my knucklehead. Just a knucklehead. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Pretty girl. She wants to go out the gate. She's got to guard the gate because Cora wants to make her opportunities run through. Doesn't really hurt that she goes out in the pasture, but. That means I have to go and track her down. Hey, back up. I'll let you out here soon. You have so much grass to eat. Lots of grass. What's she doing? What's she looking at? Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Tumors. Let's see what Jackie, Jackie found something here. Marissa's with me today. Um, that's a leg. Jackie, what did you drag up? What is it? A leg of what? I don't know. Looks like a bison hook. Is it old? Or is that like know, relatively it's like greasy and stuff? Is that relatively fresh? Look at that. Um. Jackie, what did you find? Well, the other day I couldn't get her to come back up. And she went behind. Uh, she went behind the dam, or the in pasture um, three. She went behind it and like dr was messing around and drug something out and was chewing on something out in this pasture. But I didn't know what it was. The, shape, the hoof shaped like a bison, but I don't know. I mean, I should know the difference between a bison and a beef, a cow. It's not very old, but it doesn't, I mean, that it doesn't look like it's that old. I mean, age-wise, the hoof doesn't, but I don't, I mean, look at the hoof. That looks just like a... Bison? I don't know what beef, I don't know what, like a beef cow. Not used to cattle, so, I mean, wonder if we can get it off of here. I think this is Jackie's two chew toy is what she was going for. I don't know. There's only one left. I have no idea. I mean, Google it? I mean, when you've... I don't know. I'm not used to... I'm going to put it back here for now. Okay. So, bison... Uh, uh, that's interesting. Verse. So. Verse. Cattle? We'll have to uh, Google that. So, do we need to count all of our bison? Well, I mean, when was the last time? I mean, we I know we. We did. should do it every day. We should do it every day. What'd you find? Well, let's go. We got a bale. We got a couple bales of hay. Let's go put out a bale of hay. Uh, now, the only other thing is they have cattle like right here next to us. I don't know if uh, I don't know if they've lost any. Maybe we should call our neighbors. But I guess let's count ours first. I mean, it, it doesn't look old. I mean, there's still tendons on it, and it has a red tint to it, like. It's not 
that's kind of fresh. Not fresh, fresh, but I'm not sure. We don't. We haven't had any bison missing. Uh, well, here's what a beef cow looks like. Is that? I don't. I need to find a picture of. There's not like a comparison out there of like what a beef cow hoof looks and like a and a bison cow or bison hoof looks like. Oh, no, wait. I forgot to feed these uh, wait, your calves. Need to feed those cats. Man, somebody's burning. Holy smokes. Oh, that is massive. That's, Who is that? That's the coffee ranch up in the mountains. Oof. Let's do our normal thing and then. Why don't we go put hay out and hay try out. to count? And then we'll stretch them out and then we'll start counting and tallying them. What do you think? Yeah, see if there's someone missing, I guess. I don't know. All right. Well, you get the. Gate. Oh, you mean? Oh, get the gate? Yeah, you got the gate, oh, please. Okay. Thanks, son. Uh, that's kind of nerve-wracking well, yeah. to think that uh, you just have a bison missing and don't didn't keep track of it. But a little nervous. Get back, boss. Marissa always has fun with Hoss. Here, hon. It's all right. He'll get out of the way. Get out of the way. You got one bull on one side and one on the other? Yeah. Where is the flag? Here it is. Oh, yeah, hold on. Give me just a second. I'm gonna watch him. Big Jew, big, big Jew. Big Joe's usually on this side of it. All right, so that one's ready. That knife is sharp. Thanks to you. Switching the blade out. Watch him. He's watching you. Hurry before. Yeah, I know. Oh. Okay, you go first. I'll watch you. Look out, Big Joe. Give us just a second, buddy. You're a little more trustworthy than this oh. dingbat over here waiting on me or this cow. Get back. Get back. Some of you don't think somebody made comments about the flag stopping these bison. It's never, it'll never stop them, of course, but it at least is a signal for caution. Get back. You know, I mean, look at Big Joe now. He's completely out of the way. He's, Hoss is out of the way. Female's out of the way. If these bison want to come hurt us, they'd already done it. They wouldn't be in this uh, pasture. They wouldn't be here if uh, that was the case. But let's um, let's go ahead and roll this out. I love the, I love seeing that uh, big old fire over there. But it's fun. It's actually open plains back there on top of those mountains. Those guys, the coffee ranch, they do a good job. There's a little red dog. Let's spread this. Uh, let's spread this out real quick. What's wrong, buddy? There's a couple late borns right here. These guys were born in golly, what August, Marissa? Is that when they were born? August, I want to say. Man, look at that fire. August or later? I thought we had some in October. We have one. That's the that's the little red dog. Um, okay, let's, uh, they've been up here a bunch. Let's see if we move them a little bit oh, and get them over here. Oh, there's a pen in your notebook. Well, there you go. Already ready to go. I'm 
wanna set this down real quick. A little wiggly. Get this wrap off. Yeah. They're not quite here yet. Some of them are. Females, hurry up and grab this. Christy! All right, so. Yeah, she's over here next to me. You may have to do that while I'm rolling this out real quick. Try to put it in a straight line that way. It's, I mean, it could have been, but it's kind of big for a calf, I think. All of our. Let me finish rolling this out and then we'll go start counting. All right, so we're we've got a, the hay rolled out and we've got to kind of in a circle loop here, basically. I'm just gonna tell Marissa numbers of what I'm seeing. Uh, so we'll go yellow, uh, our Canada 113. Uh, Christy, it's a white 1507. Haas, yep. he's over there rolling out the hay for us. Thanks Haas. Um, let's see here. I've got the green tag 71. 71. Chrissy's waiting on cubes. She thinks she's special. I got one. Is that 16 or 18? Yellow. Is it 16 or 8? You don't know. Uh -uh. This cow needs a dart. This cow needs a dart right here. She's kind of wormy. Peter Cole, Peter Cole one. You got crazy eyes already. Yeah. Did you get 113 yellow? I got 113, but is it 116 or 118? It may be 118 that's over there. 118 with 8006, 8, the Quapaw. Okay. And then I've got 1503. Okay. Big Joe. Okay. You already got crazy eyes. Here comes another one. That's Kit, so 519. Here's 54. I don't even have to see her number. I know who that is. There's a uh, another new one. Green. Green tag. Something another. I don't know hers. Uh, They're kind of in front of us right here. So it was the second green tag. Second green tag. All right, we got 11 cal here. Okay. Eleven. Eight. Uh huh. 8,007. Quapaw, grand champion. Her and her calf. What, what's her calf number? 352. Got the 350 calf as well. 350. Mm -hmm. 350. He's right here in front of me. She is. So that's uh, Noah's heifer. Okay. Zero, 090. Zero. Oh, who are those? Noah, uh, Peter Cole 2. Okay. A yellow 139. 139, okay. There's a bull calf right there. I don't know his number. He does. Oh, peaches, 4935. Oh, the bull is... No, he's got his head. He's got his head turned. 
if we just count the cows, we know how many we have. Uh, you already got 11. There's Flo, 518. There's Eleanor. Yep, there's Eleanor. She's hanging out. She's doing okay. She could probably use a dart. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, girl. Hey, Eleanor. One thirty nine yellow, yeah. fifteen oh four white. Yep. That bull's three fifty one. There he is. Yep, there he is. That's a bull calf. Bull calf. And then oh eight two right here next to me. Oh eight two. Uh huh. Coming in hot to your backside. Fifteen oh two white. And then we've got one Bell Star, I see is it? 105 yellow. 105, I see Bell Star, right? Bell Star. Yeah, what's that calf? Oh, that was the one we didn't tag. Okay, so no tag. Just a no tag calf. Yeah, Bell Star. Hey, girl. Pretty girl. And then 119 yellow, Canada. That's Bobby with the bobtail. And then we've got 6008, which is Quapaw, right here, and her little red dog. So this is the one that was born in October. We got 1501 White, South Dakota. We got a 137 Yellow, Canada. And then we've got. We've got 117 yellow as well. 1509. You got white 1509. 1500. Long, pretty female. 1500 white. One yellow 134. And then we've got two calves here. We've got a white 1505 mama, a 357 calf, and a 358 calf. The one on the right was a little late born. Okay, so we should have, I think we're missing. Think we should have, oh, well, we've got 10, one. we've got 10 Canada total. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. And there's, there's two up there with Dunbar. Yeah. Okay, so that fills... They're in recovery mode. Them. Okay, so there's ten there. So we got... And we're, they're in recovery mode because we vaccinated them and we brought them up and got them on some feet. And they're hanging yeah. out with Dunbar. So we got all ten Canada. Okay. Let me turn are, that around so we can see it better. Those are good. Okay, what about our South Dakotas? So 1500, 1501, 1502, 1503, 1504... 1505, where's 1506 and 1508? I don't see. Well, we so lost we one. Go. What was we lost? Number? We should only have none. We lost one count two right. summers ago one, from two, um, three, Johnson Grass. Four, five, uh, six. Nitric acid poison. Well, we only have eight. So, so which number are we We're missing? missing um, 1506 was the one that passed away. Okay, so 1506 is gone. So we are missing 1508. Mm hmm Okay. So 1508, we need to find her. Yeah, Big Joe. We should have... We found both... Oh. We found... There's two green tags, right? It's just good to double check and just go through this. We should actually do this... I mean, most of the time you pull out here, you should do it every day, essentially, is what you're supposed to do. But... Um, it's just good to write it all down and go through it. We've done it so many times of going through and seeing all these animals on a daily basis. It's really not. We can we can tell basically when there's somebody gone. Is kind of how we do it. We can we can look out here and say, oh, well, where's so and so? But when you get in a herd, that's getting a little bigger. So we've got 15 of the original females, and then Big Joe. So 16. 
17, 18, Haas would be 19 essentially. So we should have we should have a total of nine here, ten here. Well, when we let's just count Dunbar, even though he's at the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should have a total of twenty here, which I agree with that. Ten of the Canadian yellow tags, which I agree with that. So we really are just missing in the fifteen. 1508. Eight. Okay. So let's let's try to find her. Eleanor! Jackie! Alright, let's make her around over here real quick. Can you spot her from here? Watch that wind. <laughs> Can I spot her? No, my eyes aren't that good. Some of those tags are hard to see. Well, look for a white tag. There she is not. Who is it? 1502. Jeez. I was just kidding with you. Boom, she's right there. Oh, good. Okay. So, yeah. So that means. Oh yeah, she's the one with the really pretty face. Yeah. That means we have them all, right? So 19 plus 39 so we have 39 out in this pasture and how many cats? Don't worry, we just still have Christmas gifts in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor people hadn't got them yet. Jerks. <laughs> Aren't we the jerks? Hey, Kit. Okay, so, but what about the calves? Let's let's double check these calves real quick. There's, we've got one little red dog with crazy eyes here. Um, these calves though, I'm, I love how some of these calves really turned out. What There's one, he keeps, keeps walking green? away from Oh, us. these two green tags. What's the other number on them? Seven and six. 76? Six, 71. Uh-huh. Look out, Hoss. Uh, who's, who's he pushing around? 351 in the calf. The calf's just gonna be hard to do because they're not- Oh, like he's a good looking little calf. He's not so much little anymore. We're excited about him. One of the biggest calves we've ever had. He was, when we weaned him, which is six or seven months, he weighed 430. Okay. Yeah, but, okay, how many you got over there? There's, There's one. only one back there? Uh-huh. Two, three. One. One right in front of you. Three. That's three, right? That's four. Oh, yeah. The little Wait. red dog stuck behind Wait. you. Hold on. One, two, three, four. There's five back there, right? There's five, okay. Five. We got six. Six. Seven. Coming up. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, eight. Is that right? Eight calves? Eight calves. And then there's three up at the front. That would be 11. No. We should have 14. Six, seven. And there's three up at the front. Remember, I had a little boo-boo. So that's only 12. Everybody got out. But I had caught three. Imagine that. So we should have 12 or 14? 14. No, 13. Let's count those again. Golly. Let's be clear. All right, I'll just let you do the count. None. We got one, two, three, Their, their coats are dark now. They look just like adults. Yeah, they can. They're getting big. There's one right back there. One, two, three. Oh, that there's was there's a big bull. That's four. Three, four. Okay. okay. None over here on my left. I'm going to keep them all on your right. Four, here comes Mr. Big Joe. Five, six, seven, eight. Did you get behind that mama over yeah, there? there's nine, and then this is 350's tent. So we missed two in the initial. We missed two. Okay, so, and the other three are at the front, so that's 13. So 13 or 14? 13. That's where we should be, not 14, I'm sorry. Very good. So we got them all. So we got them all. Oh, jeez. Let's go check some pasture real quick. Well, what in the world? Where did that leg come from then? That's Jackie. Jackie would know. Jeez, when 
guess cattle uh, on. We need to compare hooves, so. So it's not a bison. What we figured out. Thankfully, I know some of you had probably had you on pins and needles, but um, well, for sure for us because we're not used to seeing body parts like that. <laughs> essentially, just out in our pasture. But um, anyways, happy we've got running water. We're headed to our little non-acre patch, what we call the halfway acres, but. Uh, some water because we've had so much water lately all the ponds drainage comes through here so anyways I'm getting a little sidetracked but we um, very thankful that uh, we have them all but like I said we should be counting all of our animals on a daily basis or whenever you come to feed and do all that we should be counting them and that's just pretty common anytime you go out and check your animals most of the time we do body counts so you just count them and got your numbers, whatever it is, 36, 37, 40, whatever your numbers are, we count them and that's it. That's really it. So anyways, all right, we're going to go. We There's been a dozer over here um, on my neighbor's property. We've getting, been getting some fence pushed or an old fence line pushed. Got a lot of brush, got some big trees pushed. Well, I asked the guy if he could, if we could get a day out of him. Um, Cause we're gonna split a new fence with our neighbor which this could it's gonna be this fence basically that is continued through here i asked him if i could get a day out of him before he moved the dozer so we're gonna go see his work actually all right so this is what we call the burn unit we burnt this in what year was that 2022 october of 22 right at the end of a drought or during a drought i should say but Ethan from NRCS and Cole Fagan from Oaks and Prairies Joint Venture that we've worked with on this entire fire unit also suggested about some water erosion control. And we said, okay. And wow, this place looks so different. Ah, he did a lot of work for us. Wow. Let's go take a look at this. So one of the problems that we were facing was this is where our normal road was he built this up he asked me if he wanted to so that anytime we get runoff he kind of built this up i don't know if you can see the elevation and then it kind of goes down into the creek here built this up so the water would go and drain back in here and maybe these low spots whatever but this was super low through here and what happened was there was a lot of there was a, a bank here and the water the level was up here and the, it would just drop off so the the rainwater would come on the surface and dump off which causes erosion i know i've got footage of this but so this had a lot of those drop offs rough edges and i asked him i said can you smooth this out where the water instead of running 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 and dropping off hardcore and causes that erosion can you slough it off and make it smooth so that when the water does run down this hill or these areas where they've naturally what would you call it, eroded over time creek and and animals um traffic from vehicles tractors atvs whatever it was a lot of the damage was done before we got here and water damage probably from flooding make it slough it off where it's a now uh, it's a slow easy steady um what do you call it drainage downflow mm -hmm. something like that well it's not so concentrated that it erodes when it's rushing right it just yeah it more evenly yep and so hopefully it won't erode as much as quickly right as fast yes yeah. and ethan and Cole told us about this. He said, yeah, slough it off here and it'll help with your erosion. Even though you're looking at here and go, Dusty, there's a lot of dirt everywhere. There's no grass. There's no roots. It's the rain's going to just go. Well, yes, but now it's going to go slower. And then what we can do is come back and throw some rye out, get some seed going. We could throw out some seed here, maybe some wildflower seeds Ooh, in the burn unit yeah. for the butterflies. I know you'd like that. Yeah. 
we can think of a wildfire mix. Now that this soil's been disturbed, essentially, we can come through and throw seed out. And, you know, right now it's it's feeling like spring is here, you know? Um, so, but here's the next move. The next, this is one of our favorite spots. We take Brooks here quite a bit too, and are right around the corner. But now the next thing, what we've talked about doing is getting some concrete padding here this is rock. This is a bed of rock right here. Can't see it. It's covered in silt right now because he pushed. He obviously did a lot of work. But putting some concrete pads here so that we can drive this. We can drive this across here now he, since the work he's done. We can drive this truck across here. You sure? Absolutely. But the problem is, oh, yeah, well, it's muddy, of course. You could put these concrete slabs here or pour a slab. And I think uh, then the bison can come down here and instead of stepping down on the creek, you know, they could stand on that bedrock, but they can step on the actual concrete instead of eroding the soil. And we can drive across there without dealing with, you know, not, you know, not having to put it in full drive, of course. An ATV, no problem. But that's kind of the idea is to set some con have concrete here one to drive across and then two the bison can come down here stand on the concrete and not get on the banks and erode some of the banks and stand on it and get drinking water trying to save the riparian zone right this is a riparian zone riparian, riparian yep yeah. a riparian zone so riparian zones basically from the top of that all the way down to the water so your normal pasture sitting right up here and then you can see the slow erosion over time now the roots hold a lot of it in place but you can protect it from the bison running up and down these slopes beating that bank up trampling it down and then when it rains all your soil goes into the creek so that's kind of the idea and then we're going to lose a little bit here if you get a hard downpour, it's your, you know, it'll, it'll drain. But if we can get some grass established, it'll help a whole bunch. And this thing will look completely different. I think we should. Did he build that up right he there? He did. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. He, so it would run that way. That's what he did there. See that? It's kind of like a, uh, you know, the old terraces. Yeah. He built it up so that when the, you're getting drainage off that pasture up there right? When it hits, it's going to go this way. It's going to go down into the woods or the creek eventually. Oh, it He's should, trying to keep well, it, it should, from draining here. Yeah, but it should flow back into that yeah, pond. Yeah, there's a pond over there. Well, it's dry right now, but maybe that was what was initially done, and then the erosion over time ripped that area so that it couldn't flow back that way, right? Yes. Yes. And so he built that up for us. So now you just have to kind of drive out of it, essentially, because the road goes right through here, goes up and over. Here, he did the same thing. He built this hill up a little bit, so when the water comes off that pasture where my truck is, it goes away. Pretty cool. I did a good job. What do you think? He did do a good job. So success on not losing a bison <laughs> and being accountable. Still don't know where the leg came from. Still don't though. know where the leg came from. I have to call the neighbor. Jeez. They do have some cows. I mean, it could have come from one of these cows, too. There's cows over here in this pasture that this guy leases land right here next to us. Maybe Jackie picked it up, found it. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching us. You know, I gotta be uh, more accountable and keep track of everything but definitely made us nervous to um see a leg it's definitely something we're not used to no and the hoof thing we need to look at hoofs and see a major i know there is a difference between bison and cow hoofs we do know that that's one of the things the benefits about bison is their hoof shape and they're stomping putting the seeds back into the soil and stuff like that so anyways thank you guys for watching us we're going to keep on boss ranching. See you guys soon. Bullet, what are you doing? You need to go outside. Huh? 
She's sitting in Brooks' car seat. <laughs>